Welcome everyone to Web Design and Development course. This video is an introduction to HTML5 and CSS. Here you'll see the source and reference for this video. I hope you'll be able to follow along this web design course. Coming up next are the prerequisites in this lesson. We have the map server, Apache server, Sublime text editor, localhost 8888, and htdocs folder. These applications and folders should be active in your machine at the background. As you watch this video, please bear in mind about our ESLRs, and these are right thought, right communication, right attitude, right conduct, and right lifestyle. The intent of this video is to show you how to apply heading tags in HTML. And we are now in section 2.2. The heading tags is the H tag. You can have a nice big heading on your web page quite easily. This is done with the H tags. The biggest size heading you can have is H1. If you want smaller size headings, then you change the number after the H and you can have up to six different sizes. Six being the smallest. All headings need to go between the two body tags. So let's apply these headings to Sublime Text. In Sublime Text, click the menu button and click open. Locate the my first page HTML file we created in the previous lesson. And that's inside of section one in the htdocs folder. After you have selected the file, click the open button. Then we'll be able to see our HTML tags with the first page inside the title tag. Inside of the body tag, we'll place the biggest heading tag which is h1. Now we have something that looks like this. We have added h1 tags inside of the body tags. What we'll do next is to save this HTML file. So we'll click the file menu and choose save. You will notice here that the shortcut key for saving HTML is command S. For Windows, it's control S. So I highly recommend that we'll use the shortcut key from now on. Remember that shortcut key to be able to save more time. So again, the saving, the shortcut key for saving HTML file is Command S for Mac and Control S for Windows. Now it's time to run our HTML file. In the address bar of Google Chrome, we'll type localhost colon 8888 and it will appear the index of HTML. So click under section 1, click my first page dot HTML. And a size 1 heading appears in our web page. Now we'll switch back to Sublime Text Editor, then add heading 3, and we'll see what happens next. Okay, here in our Sublime, we, we will add H3 heading. Now we'll save Sublime Text using the shortcut key, which is Command S for Mac and Control S for Windows. Then let's run this file in our localhost again. Once you remember, in the browser, simply click the Refresh button and kaboom! A size 3 heading appears in the browser. Notice how much smaller the H3 heading is compared to the H1. If your heading don't look right, make sure you haven't missed any angle brackets or any forward slash closing tags. In the next lesson, we'll take a look at paragraph breaks. For today's HTML exercise, try the other H numbers to see how they compare. You can only go as far as H6. Once you're done with all the heading tags, you can save your HTML file. 
So here's an example of today's HTML exercise. We have a size 1 heading up to a size 6 heading. So go ahead, go to your sublime text and write the code there and this will be the result of your browser. Thank you for watching this video.